Okay, so this is the um, new laptop that I got. Um, it's an M7 or Touch Smart J120DX. This is a touch screen. i7 4700 MQ HD 4600. So thanks to uh, Rehab Man, I got this one working perfectly. Sleep. All right, it's sleeping. The light's blinking. Now we're gonna open it up. All right, that's nice. So the HDMI. This is a dual boot. Okay, so this is MacBook Pro 11.2 on El Capitan 10.11.1 has audio with HDMI, Bluetooth. This one is the uh, Broadcom BMC 94352 Bluetooth 4.0 and dual band 2.4 gig and 5 gig camera car reader is not working Ethernet Graphic display is 4600 by QECI. USB, all working at correct speed. Wi Fi, this one has iMessage working and also FaceTime. This is for my son with his account. The battery is working. The backlight using the keyboard. Sound is working. This one, the sound is IDT 111D76E0. So the sound should have auto detect. a program so now let's test the left side inside port now we're gonna test the left side outside port Hitachi also USB 3.0 so it's over 40 megs so that means it's pretty good the left hand side outside we connect it with the USB 2.0 hard drive so we can see the speed which is data okay so this one okay so I'm gonna summarize what I did to get this one working so let's look at the cacks so all the important cacks that needs to get this machine to run El Capitan 10.10 10.11.1 I mean 
okay ACPI battery manager that is for this guy right here a ACI port injector that's needed because this BIOS doesn't have the option Apple HDA now this one is the one I use from um, Yosemite so the version is still 2.72 18.1 okay I haven't patched the new one yet it didn't work so Broadcom uh, Bluetooth from Rehab Man which is these two for the Bluetooth 4.0 from Rehab Man also now on this one the HDMI device ID is 0C0C C, which is not supported natively so we have to install this rehab man fake PCI ID Intel HDMI audio CAX so this is important for this one also the important one is the USB IO USB host family dot CAX this one needs to be patched the only thing that is different between this one and the other one I did on the tutorial is that I on the ESCI PCI I left everything original I didn't touch anything I only patch the XSCI so if you look at the MacBook Pro 11.2 I only ESC2 I only use USB MUX enable also ESC1 I also leave it there I didn't add anything I didn't add any port I let it MUX itself now the HSCI which is PCI this one right here I patch everything according to the DSDT so look at my tutorial on how to do this one I did all of them alright now the port count maximum is uh, 15 so 15 should be 1D config is very important so important things the config is that you have to have the patch DSDT DSSDT generate is no and this one is from DSDT from SSDT PR Gen from Piker Alpha and I have a tutorial on that also so these are the original okay so the SSDT 7 is actually okay GFX 0 I mean the graphic cards I mean okay so all of these are normal audio have to be 12 because I passed the uh, layout 12 fake ID is important okay on the graphics make sure you inject Intel and IG platform ID also text to patch so this one um, internal sleep after wake boot graphic glitch you know if you got ugly display up here and this one is for the Bluetooth 
uh, this one right here is for the Bluetooth uh, hands off handoff okay so you can connect to your iPhone um, enable this one right here I only patch one port 0204 and uh, this one is for the HDMI okay now the RT value uh, variables is very important the ROM is this is the Ethernet MAC address so you have to get it from your computer okay don't get it from somebody else this MLB you can create it um, this one make sure it's 67 now the SM BIOS it's very important is that you must have the SMUUID if you want your iMessage and FaceTime to work and this one is from your BIOS you can't copy it from anybody because Apple account for my son and my daughter for each of their computer it works perfectly the UUID right here the same again the the parameters put it there this is the UUID from your BIOS okay that's a hardware so this one will make sure that you have iMessage and FaceTime without this forget it 